Amadil Kumar and we'll explore how to prove trigonometric identities. The question here is prove the identity for all permissible values of x. Remember a trigonometric identity should be true for all the permitted values. So an identity can always have restrictions. Restrictions you can always find by equating denominator to zero, right? Now let us see how to prove this identity which is 1 plus 2 cos square x divided by cos square x equals to tan square x plus 3. Few things which can help you to solve this question is uh, 1 plus tan square x is how much? It is secant square x, correct? And you know what is secant square x? Secant square x is 1 over cos square x, right? Keep that in mind to prove this particular identity, right? So my approach is to teach you how to do it. So what we can do is we can look into this expressions and see what is on the left side and what is on the right side. So let us explore a bit more. The left side I could write as 1 over, so I'm just breaking it apart. So it is 1 over cos square x plus 2 cos square x divided by cos square x, right? So that is the left side. Now right side is tan square x plus 3. So you could say tan square x is secant square x minus 1. You could say that, right? So instead of tan square x, I could write right side as, we can write from here. Let me, let me continue. Write it in a different way. So we could write tan square x as equals to. Uh, since we are having 1 over cos square x here, so from here we can say tan square x is 1 over cos square x minus 1. Does it make sense to you? Right. We could do that, right? 1 plus tan square x is 1 over cos square x. So tan square x is 1 over cos square x minus 1. So I'm going to use this particular identity which has been modified and we'll substitute this here. So tan square x can be written as, so from here we come to this place and this is what is being used. As 1 over cos square x minus 1 so that is tan square x and then plus 3 right so so the so the right side can be written as 1 over cos square x minus 1 plus 3 is plus 2 is it okay so that is the right side for us now so this is the left side we are working on this is the right side here we can cancel cos square x cos square x so we get 1 over cos square x plus 2. Do you see both of them are exactly same? Correct? So these are probably the simplest steps to prove an identity. Right? Now in case you want to go from one side to the other, you can move along, continue with this, take common denominator of cos square x and you get it in the very next step. Right? So what I'm trying to say is if if you have a restriction that you have to go only from one side, so you can begin from right side as we did, right? And then at this stage, so I'm just adding that. So we can take a common denominator of cos square x. So we get 1 plus 2 cos square x, right? So in doing so, uh, we actually start from one side and land up with the other. So that is, that is even better. So you could do like this also. But before really getting into this kind of a solution, it's a good idea to see what we are heading towards. Then it really helps, correct? So I hope you understand. So what we should do here is, when we have a question like this, we should think about this identity, right? So tan square x is secant square x minus 1. You could do that. So you could write this as, secant square x minus 1 plus 3, right? And then move on to the next step, correct? Equals to this, and then follow these steps to get your answer. So I hope that helps. Now let's talk about restrictions. So one of the restrictions is that cos x cannot be 0. So let's write down restrictions. So one of the restrictions which we have is that cos x is not equal to 0. That means x is not equal to uh, pi by 2. 
or 3 pi by 2 such values correct so in general this expression could be written as that x is not equal to 2n plus 1 pi by 2 correct so that is the restriction on this particular identity so remember that if asked for sometimes that could be a part of your question i hope this gives you a fairly good idea of how to solve trigonometric identities we are not really taking difficult ones but we are trying to understand the strategy to solve difficult trigonometric identities and i hope these small steps help you a lot thank you and all the best